How's it going? So uh, I just, uh, I, I have finally, things always take longer. Is it just me? Things, things always take longer than I think they'll take. I thought I'd be launching stuff uh, a couple days ago, but we had to get approved by Apple to be on the iTunes store. So we're waiting for that. Hey, how you doing? If people are coming in, I'll just say hi to people for a little bit. Hey, if you're if you're uh, if you've not retweeted this, you should. Um, but uh, I got some. We're gonna have a bunch of material come up. I'll tell you what we got coming up. But I just finished the uh, editing the video. Uh, oh my God, I'm still pre coffee. Can I be honest? I'm still pre coffee. Yeah, I'm not sure what podcast you're looking at if you're saying hi, handsome. Ah, anyway, so. Uh, so, yeah, no, I'm still free coffee. I'm on a weird sleep schedule, as you may have noticed. I was kept up last night because of this stupid Politico story. But uh, I'll get, I will. I don't drive. There's no coffee in walking distance. It's not as easy as one might think. Anyway, uh, so let me do all the normal stuff. Please retweet this if you haven't done that already. Please subscribe to me on Periscope. There you go. Let's get, to, let's get it on. So I just finished uh, interviewing James O'Keefe, and I got a lot of material coming for you today. Uh, no, I don't drive. I'm blind. I'm legally blind. Why do you think I have glasses like this? Look at that. Um, I, uh, I have a lot of material coming. I have four episodes, four episodes of my new Making the News podcast. That's coming out. Milo Yiannopoulos, Cassandra Fairbanks, James O'Keefe, Tim Poole, Tim Cast. Uh, the interviews are 30 to 40 minutes long, something like that. Those are going to be up today. Or I will be ground my 24-year-old son. My son Shane's working on it and getting the pages up. Uh, uh, four, four on. The Milo interview is something I did back in January. All the others are brand new relate to the election, they're all good. I think you will like them. Also, uh, I'll be posting uh, an hour and a half, I think, of another podcast I'm doing. If you've ever heard This American Life, uh, it's a story podcast like that. It's about the situation in South Dakota. It's a fascinating story. If you care about corruption, I think you'll like it. But let me get to the topic, which is why the future of journalism is not the mainstream media. Look, if you've been following this election, particularly if you're a Trump voter, but even if you're a Sanders voter, even if you're a Stein voter, even if you're a Gary Johnson voter, uh, you know what's at stake right now. This is the establishment. This is the political establishment in a death spiral freakout, trying desperately to maintain control and not doing it because too many people have swallowed the red pill, right? That's what's happened. Too many people know what's actually going on right now. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't, you know, completely bullshit the entire world when they have the internet and they have access to WikiLeaks and they see what James, uh, James O'Keefe is doing and uh, people have access to YouTube and people have access to Periscope, someone just mentioned. So the reason, here's why, James and I talked about this on the, uh, on the podcast. Here's why journalism sucks. It's real easy, it's real straightforward. Journalism sucks because people want access to media elites. They want access to uh, the politicians, right? Investigative journalists, like the stuff that I do at Breitbart, James and I do different kinds of work. He does undercover investigative journalism. Uh, I do uh, research-based investigative journalism. I didn't, someone asked about Megyn Kelly, I didn't watch, but I heard about it. If you have a question about it, give me a minute to keep blabbing, and then I'll, I'll ask you what you thought. Um, and so the problem is you can't do investigative journalism if you want to be friends with people, right? Because you're going to overturn rocks. Oh, if you don't know who I am, I'm not sure why you're watching, but I'm the lead investigative reporter for Breitbart News. I have a podcast called Making the News. I have a website called Brought to Light. I have another website called citizenjournalismschool.com. I'm a Virgo. 
but I don't believe in astrology because Virgos are like that. Anyway, uh, so, uh, so part of the reason the media is bad now is because the elites are so powerful. Oh, I also have a, a print interview coming up with Roseanne Barr, by the way. That'll be interesting. She calls Donald Trump, I don't want to get the quote wrong, but a, I think a true hero for our time. That'll be interesting. And I've, I've, by, by the way, the other people coming up on making the news, Roger Stone has agreed. I'll be doing an uh, interview with him very soon. David Horowitz has agreed. I'll be doing an interview with him very soon. Uh, Rebel Pundit Jeremy Siegel, my friend, will be doing an interview very soon. So we will have seven or eight episodes, powerhouse episodes up in the next few days. Normally, I, I want to be on a weekly schedule on this podcast, but there's too much at stake right now, and I think there's really interesting information by people talking about who, who's behind the news, right? Uh, and, and how they make it, how the people make it. The reason, and by the way, none of the people I've mentioned, none of the people I've mentioned uh, went to journalism school. The reason O'Keefe has been able to shake up the elections because he didn't go to journalism school. Do I think Trump's running? No, I think he's running to be president of the United States, period. I think if he doesn't win, he's going to go into media. I hope he does, but I think he's going to win, and I hope he wins. So I think he's running to be president. What's their big announcement? I don't think there's a big announcement. I don't know what that is. Al Jazeera's worked out. Al Jazeera's a going concern. Uh, but anyway, so that's the big deal that's going on. So let me take a few questions. We'll have more tonight. I'll be back up later tonight with a podcast around 9 o'clock Eastern, probably something like that. What news today? I don't think I missed the news. I have a story coming up at Breitbart about this uh, we need to clean it up email that came from Cheryl Mills with a great quote from uh, Tom Fitton. And not just a great quote, but interesting information about what happened 10 days after they got the news about Obama lying about whether he knew about Kitten's email. Who invented the video? It's not an excuse. You're not going to want to hear this. The video was a factor in Benghazi. I've reported about this. I'll be getting that story up. That's another. That's another one. Well, the only thing I heard about Megyn Kelly was uh, she first off she's got a uh, fabulous short haircut. But uh, the, what I heard about Megyn Kelly last night is she repeated this bullshit story that uh, Breitbart was coordinating, in other words, instigating a source, Aaron Black, to do anti-pro-Trump stuff, basically anti-Rubio, anti-Cruz stuff. I did a podcast about it last night. It's on SoundCloud. I posted, maybe I'll repost it in Twitter in a second. It's complete bullshit. Complete lies. I know it firsthand. He was a source on all things, including big anti-Trump stuff. And we covered that extensively. So, there you go. I don't, I don't know what they say on Fox News. I don't have any control over that. Well, thanks for that. Okay, anything else? I'm going to go and there's stuff to do. That's it. Okay, love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Stay tuned. Lots of coming, lots of content today. Oh, by the way, my podcast, I'll just mention this, is sponsored by Citizen Journalism School. I'm going to mention this because I'm trying to get better at marketing. I should also point out that I have a free class coming at Citizen Journalism School. Free. You can go sign up. Free called Build Your Own Media Empire. It talks about how to set up the, all the basics you need to get your stuff going. There you go. So you should know about that. I should mention it, and I did. Okay, love you guys. Bye.